One use was mentioned by Hans Beckhoff already at the beginning, motion control three. And I collected my dear colleague Klaus, he's our motion expert. But before we talk about motion control three, I think it's important to highlight that with the NC2, we have 25 years of motion experience. So what is this all about? Definitely, so we are doing twin gate motion controls and more than 25 years meanwhile. And we have a lot of PTP applications running with uh, simple applications, but also complex applications with camming and flying saw. We have interpolated movements uh, with complex uh, milling machine, tooling machines. Twin gate uh, motion control is used for XCS and also in the show business. Yeah. Interesting is that Hans said with MC3, we will break a limit of 255 axes to more axes. But I remember that we have already today applications with more than 255 axes. So how does this work together? Yeah. That's uh, totally correct. So in past, we also did applications with 1,000 axes. That was a good time for you because uh, you could, uh, were able to sell PCs. Yes, so right. So uh, in this case, we have had different CPUs and we have to synchronize them together, what is a little bit more complex. And now with Twinket MC3, we are able to run more than 255 axes on one system, on one CPU. And so we don't have this fixed uh, limitation anymore, it's gone. And we also have this multi-core support. That means you can, if you have eight cores, you can, mm -hmm. for instance, running four cores with uh, Twinket motion control. But that means by open up the limits or breaking the limits, we can increase performance or we simply save money because of less hardware costs. Yeah, definitely. There's also a lot of applications in the field where you don't have this 100 access. So maybe an application with 10 access. And also these applications have a big advantage of, uh, advantage of uh, MC3 because there's also possible to run, let's say, two access with one millisecond cycle time and eight with for instance, four, uh, yeah, four milliseconds. Yeah. So I think a lot of customers are really waiting for MC3 because with all this new flexibility, higher performance. But what do they do if they still want to maintain some of the existing NC2 application and would benefit from MC3? Yeah. So it, in general, the kind of programming in, inside the PLC is PLC open based motion control, what we are doing for the NC2 and also for the MC3. And also one big advantage is that you can combine NC2 and MC3 on one solution. That means you can run new parts of the machine with MC3 and the old parts on the same CPU in the same Twinket solution still with NC2 going on. Klaus, this is perfect. I love these simple messages. Yeah. yeah, more performant, less cost, easy to use. You can reuse old code. Klaus, this is perfect. So MC3 is perfect from my point of view.